Uh, okay, so technical difficulties. I lost all the footage that I just recorded. Oh. Yeah, I lost all the footage that I just recorded of getting up Death Mountain. Oh my god. This is the second time that has happened. Why did that happen? Anyway, we're now inside Redonia. It's really dark in here. Luckily, you can kind of see by doing this. There should be a torch somewhere around here. No, but there is ice arrows. There's a torch. Oh, I already have a torch. Whoopsie daisy. Okay. Yeah. Also, since it's really... Since, it, since the temperature, I guess, goes back to normal in this, we can actually go back to our normal clothes. So, now I'm, now I'm the YouTube me now. I'm now the YouTube me. Or the YouTube link, really. <laughs> but seriously, I do not know why that... Like, for some reason, my phone just shut off and it didn't save it. But, oh my god, I don't know why it did that. I am stuck. Oh, never mind. Okay. Uh, I think there is oh, something behind there. God, I can't see nothing. Oh. Oh. There is flames behind there. I can tell you that much. All right, let's take out. Let's take back out the torch. We need. To, all right, we need to go get that. Uh, that schematic. Or the map. Hey there. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna do much, man. Against that. For some reason, very powerful Bokobo Club. Oh, man. It's good doink. Oh. Alright, let's go ahead and use the golden one. With the golden bow, you get, like, an extra zoom in, basically. It's kind of like a sniper rifle. Man, I can't see a thing. <laughs> Alright, let's take about the torch. Let's go back. And then grab the flame again. Get the flame. Get the flame. There we go. Well, now we can see a little bit. <laughs> it's much better for videos. I think eventually we actually get to turn the lights on. Nice and bright. Whew, there we go. Very nice. Much better for videos. Just in case from now on, I'm going to be um, hitting the end record button and then just tapping the record button again. Just for safety. 
Let's tilt this bad boy. Whew. I almost fell off there. I almost screwed up. There are four terminals remaining. That's the way. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I like it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Ooh. Okay. Um. YOLO. Oh. Well, guess we're stuck in here for all eternity. Unless we do that. That works too. I like how you can actually see the map actually move, like with, um, when, uh, when, the, when, it, when it turns. I like how you can actually see that. I think that's actually pretty cool. Kobe. That seriously didn't set it on fire? There we go. That's what's supposed to happen. Oh. Alright, they open that way. <laughs> eh. Right, I see something else to burn. I wonder if there's anything above me. There are three terminals remaining. Alright, let's get moving. I'm trying, man. Ooh, I think I see a chest. Do you guys stop? There. Ha! Come to me. Yeah. Oh. Well, those actually are good for the, in the future, so I can't complain. God, I love the noises that they make. Like, it sounds so majestic. Like, oh my god. <gasps> Okay, I'm going to need to put any wooden weapons away. Oh! Well, I did not know that my Master Sword actually uh, turns back on when I'm in this state. Alright, well anyway, this is, the, this is the Master Sword's true form, it's powered up form. Yes, I just shot a laser out of it. You can shoot lasers out of it anyway, even if it's not in its powered up form. But... Oh, we gotta turn, we gotta turn. Put that away for now. Oh, I think it has to be affected with blue fire. Yeah, it has to be affected by blue fire, okay. Alright, I got you. I got you. I got ya! There's one right up above me. Oh, there it is. Hey, you back off. There's one right up above me. Oh, I got this. Ooh, almost fell off. I almost screwed that up. I almost screwed that up. <laughs> Ooh, I don't want to screw this up, though.
I love these map designs. Like, oh my god. Like, these map designs are just extravagant. Oh my god. Oh, actually, something I actually forgot to mention last time, um, as a lot of you may know, there is actually a, uh, a mainstream Pokemon game coming to the Nintendo Switch, most likely somewhere in 2018, but, I mean, it is Pokemon, and since I can actually do it on the Switch, and I can just record it on my phone and not on, like, a 3DS or something, I can actually do Pokemon now on this. <laughs> um, the creator of Pokemon himself actually did say that there is a mainstream Pokemon game, and uh, no, not, not the Pokemon tournament, um, but an actual Pokemon game that's coming to the Switch. I'm actually very excited for it. Um, I think it's going to be a great addition uh, to the Pokemon games, and I'm actually really excited for it. So, expect Pokemon games in the future. <laughs> like, expect Pokemon whatever and whatever in the future. Wow, this thing is useless. There we go. Wow. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> There you go. Go right into the hole. A booyah. Okay, now where was that again? There. Just in case. You never know. Okay, so the last one is behind this wall. Luckily, I know what to do. Yeah, Alright, you need to be fast, but precise about this. You need to go, get an arrow, get the arrow on the, on the blue fire. And then, boom. Just like that. <laughs> Okay, now... Up, exactly. Okay, let's get, let's get, get the good old handy torch back out. And pray for the best. And pray for the best. There we go. Might want to watch out. <laughs> okay, so what we're actually going to need to do here is rotate. Then rotate back. Hit this bad boy. And then turn back. And then turn back just one last time. Yeah, to be honest, I actually recommend doing that one last just because it's actually the closest to the top. So, yeah. And sadly, since the battle's out here, you need to stay in your fire protective gear. But, I need to be in this because this will protect me a bit more. But don't worry, I will switch right back to my YouTube self after. Alright, let's do this! Fireblight Ganon. Jeez, what is Marcos doing?
Look at this buff guy. <laughs> yeah, we really need to watch out. Ugh. We really need to watch out for that axe. I got him. I got him with bomb arrows in the face. Oh, I forgot I can't do that. Quick move. You think? I mean. I kind of forgot about the bomb arrow thing, yeah, but... Ooh, dodge that way. Oh, I'm so glad we have the Master Sword for this. Look at that, already. Burning hot, baby. Okay. So, you will come across this thing. So, as you can see, whatever you do, there's nothing you can do to really hurt him. Besides throw a bomb at him. Then we throw a bomb at him, rush him. What you can also do, if he's in that state... What do you think you're doing? Yep. That's why I wanted to do the Gerudo one. But there we go. He is dead! We got our next heart container. We've also cleansed this place. You never know, bro. You never know. You need to cut it right there. You never know. You don't want to lose that footage.
from this moment forth, the power of protection from the depths of my soul now lives inside you. Good luck, little guy. And give my regards to the princess. I love his voice actor so much. Like, oh my god. Like, I love his voice. Like, it, they got the perfect role for him. Okay, so Derek's possession, as you saw. Oh. Link. Mom? I mean, what? Zelda? Link. Thanks to you, all of the divine beasts have returned to us. And the spirits of the champions are free. We will all be awaiting your clash with Ganon at Hyrule Castle. Well, okay, lady in my head. Y'all was good, you know, Bo. Was good. Huh? Hey, brother. Thanks so much for appeasing with Dunia, Koro. Okay, he, uh, he's just. He's just saying, hey, I think I saw, uh, what a Daruk's ghost. That's basically all he said. <laughs> That's basically all he was saying. Hey, what up, bro? Hey, stop peeking. Hey, it's you. You know what told me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. We got Redunia. Just give me my stuff. Okay. Yeah, just give me my stuff. Yeah, he's all he's saying is now they can go back to digging ore in the mountain, and there's also some stuff. There's some treasure inside, and it was the blade that Daruk used himself, so. Yeah. I forgot you can just. 
spam the B button. Yay! Boulder breaker. Yeah, this. Oh. Well. I didn't want that anyway. <laughs> okay, so since I literally just completed all four Divine Beasts, this episode might be kind of short because I lost it. But, as you can see, the, the red circle thing isn't at the end of the video. That's because since all there is left to do now is go destroy Ganon, I'm actually going to go switch to my other account, show you guys all the memories, then in the next episode, be on that account and go mess Ganon up. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in just one second. Ah, there we go. Right back to my own home. Yes, there's actually a home you can actually buy in Hateno Village. Um, I actually need to go and reactivate Dewey's Protection. Okay. There, yes, there is actually a home that you can actually buy in Hateno Village. It's over. It's on the side of Hateno Village. So here's the regular Hateno Village. You have to come all the way over here to the side. It's right here. You'll you'll meet these two carpenters. They're gonna be sitting here, but they're not here right now because it's five in the morning right now. It says Master Link here, but it just says Link's house, something like that. Link's house. Okay, welcome to uh, MTV Cribs. Um, so you can see my bow collection, my swords collection, my shields collection. Yes, the Hylian shield as well. Um, I'll actually show you guys how to get that. Don't worry, I'll actually show you guys how to get that next episode. But oh, all right. So well, you're gonna you're gonna run into this guy, Bolson. He he's gonna allow you to buy this house. You're gonna need a lot of rupees for it though, and a lot of other stuff. But let's actually get. Into the thing, I actually came here to show you guys. Not that. Um, ah, okay. I'm actually here to show you all the memories. Since I do have all of them. So, yeah, here we go. Hero of Hyrule, chosen by the sword that seals the darkness. You have shown unflinching bravery and skill in the face of darkness and adversity. And have proven yourself worthy of the blessings of the goddess Hylia. Whether skyward bound, adrift in time, or steeped in the glowing embers of twilight, the sacred blade is forever bound to the soul of the hero. We pray for your protection, and we hope that, that the two of you will grow stronger together as one. Well. This is uplifting. She's making it sound like we already lost. Wasn't this your idea? You're the one who wanted to designate the appointed night with all the ceremonial pomp, grandeur, and nonsense we could muster. And if you ask me, the whole thing does seem to be overkill. I think I'm on the same page as the princess regarding this boy. I'll give it a rest. That boy is a living reminder of her own failure. Well, at least that's how the princess sees him. Since we already saw the Rivali's flap one when we were in, uh, when we were in um, Rito Village, I'm actually going to skip all the ones that we've actually already seen. So here's the next one. From here, we'll make our way to Goron City. Then, we'll need some adjustments on that divine beast so Daru can manage it as easily as possible. He's figured out how to get it to move. However, it's apparent that we still have much more to learn. What do you think? That divine beast was actually built by people. That means we should be able to understand how it works and how to use it to our advantage. These divine beasts, so much 
we go, go. But if we want to turn back Calamity Gallant, they're our best hope. the truth. How proficient are you right now wielding that sword on your back? Legend says that an ancient voice resonates inside it. That's fee. Can you hear it yet, hero? So the, the ancient voice inside the sword, if you played um, Legends of the Skyward Sword, which is the first that comes into the um, which is the first ever in the timeline, that's uh, the ancient voice inside the sword is fee. F-I. Fee. So, yeah. Nothing. Just as I thought. Hmm. It appears that this structure was designed to be exclusively accessed by the sword's chosen one. But designs can always be worked around, at least I hope. How do I get inside? I need to activate it somehow. Ah. Hmm. I thought I made it clear that I'm not in need of an escort. It seems I'm the only one with a mind of my own. I, the person in question, am fine, regardless of the king's orders. Return to the castle and tell that to my father, please. And stop following me! Well, I mean, we kind of are your knight. We're supposed to protect you, right? I mean, I really do like this one. I was uh, I was thinking this whole time that I kind of want to play it again, but um, I'm not gonna play it again because I already saw it. So yeah. Uh, did we? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure we did. Okay, here's the next one. I'm pretty sure that, that one's actually the shortest memories of them all. Um, I'm pretty sure that's the shortest one, yeah. <laughs> My cut doesn't look too bad, actually. You're fine for now. But you know, there's a fine line between courage and recklessness. As brave as you are, that does not make you immortal. It seems that not only is the frequency of these types of attacks on the rise, but the scale of beasts we are facing is intensifying as well. I fear that... I fear that this is an omen which portends the return of Calamity Ganon. And, if that's the case, I'm ready to expect the worst. We'll need to make preparations as soon as possible. Just beautiful. 
They are also quite useful as ingredients for a variety of meats. This one here is called the Silent Princess. It's a rare, endangered species. Despite our efforts, we can't get them to grow domestically yet. The princess can only thrive out here, in the wild. All that we can hope is that the species will be strong enough to prosper on its own. is known to have very, very potent effects under the proper circumstances. Ta-da! Research in the castle shows ingesting one of these can actually augment certain abilities. We wouldn't be in a controlled environment out here, but with your level of physical fitness, you'd be a perfect candidate for the study. Go on. Taste it. I'm sorry, but I, I really love that cutscene just because, like, it, bring, it brings, like, uh... Oh yeah, like it brings like some sort of um, comedy to to Legend of Zelda that to Legend of Zelda that you don't really see at all, really. <laughs> I doubt this will let up anytime soon. Your path seems to mirror your father's. You've dedicated yourself to becoming a knight as well. Your commitment to the training necessary to fulfill your goal is really quite admirable. I see now why you would be the chosen one. What if... one day... you realized that you just weren't meant to be a fighter? That the only thing people ever said was that you were born into a family of the royal guard, and so no matter what you thought, you had to become a knight. If that was the only thing you were ever told. I wonder then, would you have chosen a different path? Well, there is always the possibility. I mean, there are many different reincarnations of Link. I'm so, like, some became... Uh, well, well, not really a pirate, but let, let's go with that. He came, he became sort of a pirate. Another one was uh, a train conductor in um in Spirit Tracks, which I loved, by the way. That was yeah, that's a good game. Central to Hyrule's future, and our research demands that we keep a close eye on them. However, as the princess, you currently have a crucial unfulfilled responsibility to your kingdom. <laughs> Let me ask you once more, when will you stop treating this as some sort of childish game? I'm doing everything I can. I'll have you know that I just recently returned from the Spring of Courage, where I offered every ounce of my prayers to the goddess. And now you are here, wasting your time. You need to be dedicating every moment you have to your training. You must be single-minded in unlocking the power that will seal Calamity Ganon away. I already am. Don't you see? There's nothing more I can do. My hope... My hope is that you... That you allow me to contribute here in whatever way I can. No more excuses, Zelda. Stop running away from your duty. The 
as the king, I forbid you to have anything to do with these machines from this moment on. I command you to focus on your training. Do you know how the gossip mongers refer to you? They are out there at this moment, whispering amongst themselves. That you are the heir to a throne of nothing. Nothing but failure. It is woven into your destiny that you prove them wrong. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. So I was like, you can't really help but like not be like sad for Zelda, honestly. Like she only wants to do what she can. I come seeking help regarding this power that has been handed down over time. Uh -oh. Claire will awaken my powers to seal Ganon away. And so I've been told all my life. And yet, Grandmother heard them. The voices from the spirit realm. The mother said her own power would develop within me. But I don't hear or feel anything. Father has told me time and time again. He always says, quit wasting your time playing at being a scholar. Curse you. I've spent every day of my life dedicated to praying. I've pleaded to the spirits tied to the ancient gods. And still the holy powers have proven death to my devotion. Please, just tell me. What is it? What's wrong with me? See what I mean? <laughs> Be sure to take the time to soothe your mind. That's the only way you will know how you truly feel. Your advice was quite helpful, thank you. And this little one and I are getting along quite well now. At first, I wasn't sure if I should outfit him with all of the royal gear. I thought, maybe he should have to earn it first. But it works. He wears it like a true natural. I'm trying to be a bit more empathetic. Benefit of the doubt, you know? For only the wise are permitted a place upon the mountain. I prayed at a spring of courage and at a spring of power, yet neither evoked anything inside me. But maybe up there, perhaps the spring of wisdom, the final of the three, will be the one. To be honest, I have no real reason to think that will be the case. But there's always the chance that the next moment will change everything. Tomorrow is my 17th birthday. So then I shall go and make my way up the mountain. Yep, her age has been proven. She's 17. Or well, in this version of the story. <laughs> Who 
will keep us in suspense? How'd everything go up there on the mountain? So you didn't feel anything? No power at all? I'm sorry, yeah. Then let's move on. You've done all you could. Feeling sorry for yourself won't be of any help. After all, it's not like your last shot was up there on Mount Maneiru. Anything could finally spark the power to seal Ganon away. We just have to keep looking for that thing. That's kind of you. Thank you. If I may, I thought you, well, I'm not sure how to put this into words. I'm actually quite embarrassed to say it. But I was thinking about what I do when I'm healing. You know, what usually goes through my mind. It helps when I think, when I think about. See what I mean? Like, you really can't not be sad for Zelda. I mean, yeah. <laughs> like, she thinks that she basically left all of her friends and the whole kingdom and her father and everyone else. She, she thinks that she left them all to die, but really, she didn't. It, it's not her fault, really. It's really not her fault. <laughs> Oh wait! Before, before I start that, um, this one a is after you unlock 
all of the other memories, I believe including this one. Um, wait, no, no, no. You, you, all right, th this one you don't have to get to get uh, to get basically this final one. But um, this one. All right, so right after you get sixteen <sighs> memories, there we go. Then, uh, then you'll be called back to Impa. Then, then Impa will show you the last, um, well, a picture of the last place that you have to go, and you come here, and then this one starts. So yeah. Are you alright? Take Link to the Shrine of Resurrection. If you don't get him there immediately, we're going to lose him forever. Is that clear? So make haste and go. His life is now in your hands. And there we go. That's the last memory, or old Master memory. He's also one. But I showed that one in the previous episode. So, um... Yeah. In the next episode, we are going to go to Hyrule Castle. And go kick Ganon's butt and actually get the full ending. Because you have to have all the me uh, you have to have all the memories, um, to actually get the, to actually get the full ending. <laughs> of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So... Yeah. I like having fun just throwing around my boomerang. I have two boomerangs. I have the giant one. And I have... a small one. But... Yeah. So, yep. And don't worry, I'm not gonna teleport inside the I'm not gonna teleport inside the castle. But I will teleport right here. Um you'll see me here in the next episode. But yeah. And then after we go beat up Ganon, that'll be the end of Legends of the Breath of the Wild. Oh, also, if you guys want the shrine locations to all of them, here they are. Um there is some more scrolling down, so if you have to, just take a picture here, or try to mark them all with like a s stamp or something. But here they are. Pay close attention to them. A lot of these are unlockable ones, um, so you have to do things for them. Here's the second half of the map that you really couldn't see before. So, yep, yeah, there's all the shrine locations if you guys want them. But anyway, thank you guys for watching, like the video if you want, 
subscribe. I'll appreciate it, and I know you'll appreciate it. Come back to my channel anytime and watch any content I upload. Anyway, see you guys next episode. And goodbye.